drunk, high, and unemployed tour. Well, they won't be drunk, high, and unemployed anymore because I got a score to give to these guys, a scheme to plot with them. The actual golden goal puck that Sid the Kid Crosby put past Ryan Miller to win the gold medal. Biggest fucking moment. The actual puck itself is coming being flown over from Vancouver to the Hockey Hall of Fame tonight and cheer right here in Davenport, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Maybe I can get into the Hall of Fame with them and, uh, you know, sort of, um, sort of get, get the crown jewels of hockey itself. Jewels? Big ah. plan, this big score with you. It's it like a big scheme that we can go into the Hockey Hall of Fame and grab the puck that Sidney Crosby scored uh, to beat the Americans. It's the golden game winning goal, the biggest piece of Canadian memorabilia history. I mean, the black market and, and all the memorabilia people are crossing at the map to have that puck. I want you to be my middleman. We'll go in there, get a heist, pick the puck. Sell it, make millions of dollars, why, you know? Hey, why don't we just steal Sidney Crosby? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea! <laughs> It's a great thing, you don't have to be drunk, high, and unemployed anymore. You can be living in crystal palaces and sipping five-star beers and champagnes, and you can, you can forget all this, you know, Alexander Keats and all that Canadian crap or whatever it is. You can be moving on to bigger and better things. Fuck, I wish I had your energy, man. Well, no, I'm serious, we can do this. We can get the puck, and then we can sell it. It's a big score. You know that, like, your freedom 35 policy or whatever it is. Fuck it, Tony. We're gonna have to kill cats and chop them to Chinese restaurant. That's a, uh, Oh, that's fantastic. I think I've got a deal going with him. We're going to go and get uh, Sid the Kid. I really don't want to kidnap Sid the Kid, though. He's, I'm a big fan of his. He's, he's been on cave on TV. Sidney! Mr. Crosby, sir. Can you, can you make it out to cave on sir? Sidney. Can you do with that shirt? Thank you. Sidney. You broke my heart. <laughs> you broke your heart. I broke my heart, but he signed an autograph. What a Valentine's gift that was. My goodness. So there you have it, folks. Trailer Park Boys right here on Cave on TV on Hawks, right here at the legendary historic landmark venue, Massey Hall, at the corner of Victoria and Tudor Streets, the Sunnyvale of Toronto. You ever dealt with this guy? He's always down here. He's the most hyper kid that there is. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, I'm trying to balance this while I'm talking on the phone. Oh, come on. Let me just see. Take, take him. Take him. Who's this? That's uh, Nicholas Lindstrom. You know who he is. I mean, captain of the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, well, not anymore, but. Uh, that's uh, Rod Brindamore, and that's Chris Pronger. Didn't get him uh, on the on the way in. Hang on. So what are you going to do with them? You going to sell them? No. Why not? Because I'm a fan. Yeah, a but you're fan. always downtown here. Yeah. <laughs> Body drop. Body drop the what? Body drop the rock.